Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Life is Tiff Knows It. Tiff here bringing you my favorite style of video to make post reviews. This is a post review of a kit that I purchased back in, ooh, I think late May, early June at Michael's. The brand is um, Make Make Market. I always want to say something else. It reminds me of the, <laughs> the brand at Sam's Club, but it's Make Market. This kit was a really good deal. It was with a coupon $9.99 or in that price range. Originally it was $12.99. And it was, um, yeah, it was fun to work on. So the one thing with this kit that um, I discussed in the unboxing, but just to let you know, is it does come with a frame as well. So let's talk about kind of the experience of working on this kit. So this kit it honestly if i would have like consistently worked on it it worked up pretty fast the canvas itself was extremely sticky so that can be a plus and a negative but like it was almost it was very hard um to even like peel back the plastic cover the plastic cover itself was kind of like a different material than what i was used to it was a thicker material so it took a little bit of getting used to. I personally used washi tape when I was using this kit. And so I was like cutting off parts of the plastic um, sheet and it was a little bit difficult. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like if you're a person that you section off your diamond paintings, that these style of kits with this brand Make Market, it's, it's doable, but you just have to put a little bit more muscle into it. Um, the drills itself, they were pretty high quality. There is nothing wrong with the drills. I need to look up how many colors this, this set had. Um, one thing that the reason I can't tell you, obviously, um, as you can probably tell too, is it did not come with a legend on the sides, which I don't think is a deal breaker for me because I can, I just, you know, kit up my kits and use the symbols, um, on the actual diamonds. In fact, pause. I'm going to show you what I did to, to kit up. One second. Okay, I am back. So this is the setup I used for this kit. There are 17 colors, just to give you all the specifics of this kit. It did not come with a sticker set or even like a printout of um, the symbols, I don't believe. It just was on the bags. So that's not like a huge deal breaker to me. In fact, it worked out well for this particular kit because I was working on it with my daughter. And so I made the letters super big. So they were really obvious for her. And I thought it was great that it was letters because she's four years old and we're trying to work on like letter recognition. And so, and she did, she recognized some of them. So if you are a person that you have like a daughter, granddaughter, grandson or son or a small kiddo in your life that likes to help you diamond paint um this kit was great because it had the the letters to practice with that so i guess that can be a plus or a negative depending on um your preferences on the fact that you have to make your own symbols the yeah i really enjoyed working on this kit the canvas itself is it like it is a cheaper material um, it's not soft like others. It does the kind of like, um, collect things from it. Like, oh, sorry. That was kind of gross, but like it does collect like almost like lint on it. So you want to keep that in mind. That's not really a huge deal to me personally, because I'm not going to be looking at the back of the canvas, but some people really like a different canvas material. And I really like that it's pre-cut here. Uh, you'll see that on this side, the, maybe it's just the placement of the diamonds on my part, but there is a little bit of extra canvas. Again, it's not a huge deal to me. And I think just in general, uh, like from the camera, it looks really good. Like it doesn't look terribly pixelated, but, uh, like the, at least the rainbow part, I guess my only critique of this kit is that I feel it could have been like a bigger size because it does look like I couldn't really tell that this is sand. Like it just looked kind of abstract to me. And again, like the purpose of me purchasing this was as 
you know, someone requested me purchasing it. So it's not a huge deal to me. It's probably going to end up hanging in my daughter's room. She's trying to snag it from my mom. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead. I wanted to wait until I was doing the post review to um, frame it, just to add the frame, because some of you maybe are, are new to these. And what's cool, too, that I've done in the past is if you were to purchase any diamond painting, you could do this um, because they they make these types of frames on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. I think I got one for $12.99 and it depends on the size of the diamond painting. Uh, like obviously bigger ones are gonna be more expensive but you can definitely look into this for framing options. And so these just have these really strong magnets and you just put one of them um, underneath. You gotta kinda line it up right underneath and that's why I like that it's pre-cut because it's pre-cut to fit perfectly then you just stick this down and you do have to like I'm gonna adjust this one you can kind of move it up um, as you see fit maybe the I can't tell if I put it on crooked yeah I did there we go so that looks really nice I think and then the top one oops <laughs> Thought I was grabbing it, but I was grabbing a cord. The top part of this, you know it's the top because it has a little hangy thing on it. And it's the same same type of thing. I usually put this one in front. I put the other one in back. Sorry, my table, this table is just very well loved. It's well used. And then you just snap this on the front. And then again, you have to really adjust it. It kind of goes where it wants to go. So you adjust it. Ooh, I feel like I'm wheezing a bit. Goodness. And there you go. Like for for $12 or around there, like this is a really good option in my opinion. Um, it's inexpensive. It's fun to do. It's great for um, a smaller kid as well. And then it, I think the frame really does um, make it look pretty nice. So yeah, overall, I would give this probably this kit probably an eight out of ten. Uh, again, like it would be nice if the size were bigger, but you can't complain with the price. The drill quality was there, the um, canvas material was fine, and the stickiness was like these drills are not falling off anytime soon. So I'm not even going to seal this one. And again, if you're willing to just take the extra steps of making your own labels, it's not a deal breaker for you go for it have at it so i recommend this brand for sure definitely a cost-friendly option and i do believe that it's legally licensed i do not think any major retailers would be selling diamond paintings that are not legally licensed but hopefully i am correct on that that is my assumption and I'm, i will show you now like just a photo of it hung up where it's going it's probably going to be kind of dark in the room and the paint also will have an interesting contrast, I think. So let me show you the final product. And yeah. Okay, so here's what it looks like hung up. My daughter requested it above her bed by these cute sunflowers, but it is like just a cute piece that you could hang up in a room. You know, it, it's definitely kid friendly. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your support. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing for more diamond painting and momhood related content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!